I want to uh, start off by saying I'm still in sort of a state of shock, and this is all sinking in. So I'll try to you know, make make some sense while I'm talking here. But it, it's really wonderful this morning to wake up, and my my son called me at 5:30 and was the first to let me know that I'd won this prize. And I guess I guess the reason I'm really thrilled about this is I'm a basic scientist. I did not get into these studies to try to cure cancer. I got into them because I wanted to know how T cells worked. And um, once we uh, showed that uh, this uh, molecule C4 was the first cell intrinsic negative regulators of immune responses, it immediately occurred to, to me and some of the people in my lab that maybe we can use this to unleash the immune system to attack cancer cells. And, and so I'm, I'm lucky enough, you know, as a basic scientist to see my work actually end up 20 years later, actually, uh, really, really helping patients. Other calls? I'm a no, no, no. The phone rang at 530, and, and it, was, it was my son. Uh, so it was always in the back of my mind. It wasn't the reason I was doing the work, but whenever I could, I would take a rest, you know, from thinking about the problem and look at our data and say, what does this tell me that I could use to treat cancer? And that was one of those moments when we, we figured out that c 4 was the brakes on the immune system. I said, well, let's just disable the brakes and see if uh, that, that will allow the immune system to, to uh, at attack cancer. And uh, it did. I spoke just for a few seconds because there was a call from Sweet. I thought, oh, well. I'd like to just give a shout out to all the patients out there who are suffering from cancer to let them know that you know they're it's it's we, we are making progress now we can uh, get durable responses in a, a fraction of patients with many many different kinds of cancer all right because you should learn something from every patient whether they you get a clinical signature or not you need to learn something or you've wasted that patient mm -hmm. and so there's too much work going on now just you know, trying a combination. If you don't get a clinical signal, move on to the next combination. What you need to do is get some tissue from that patient and figure out, you know, why did it fail? Why, what, what's missing? And that, that can guide what you do next. I think the only way we're going to get really successful, you know, combinations by doing it rationally where we understand what's going on. And so that, that's basically what we're doing now. Okay. Practice. Yeah, it's. Uh, I guess it's uh, glioblastoma and, and, and pancreatic cancer. Is that, that so far we haven't had much effect on. Uh, well, there's two actually. I can't say it's just one. The other one is to the melanoma at about 60 percent now. It was to get that closer to 100 <laughs> percent. Okay. Responses. Okay. And basically, it's. I guess just sum it all together is to, is to uh, get more patients to respond to these therapies.